Welcome everyone to War Embeddings, Cuisine Similarity and Deep Learning for Identification of Profession and Occupation in Health Related Social Media. A presentation about the contribution of True Abbott in the Morning Team in Profner, the search tax focus on identification of professions and occupation in Spanish Twitter data. The content of the presentation are the following. First of all, a brief introduction to the teammates. Below, an overview about the challenge. Next, we'll describe the different methods and system used and the results obtained during the competition. And finally, an error analysis and a short discussion about the conclusions and future work. Well, the Troy Abbott in the Morning Team is formed by Roberto Cuervo Rosillo, a computer science PhD student working on accessibility and machine learning, and me, Sergio Santamaria, who just finished my computer science and technology master degree at Universidad Carlos III de Madrid. Prof. and ST focus on the recognition of profession and occupation from Twitter, using that in Spanish after selecting health relevant content. The challenge is divided in two subtracts. Track A, where the aim is classified if a tweet contains a mention or occupation or not. And track B, another challenge where participants must find the beginning at the end of the occupation mentions and classify them into the corresponding category. Our team just participate in track B. The dataset provided by the organization is divided into training with 6,000 different uh, tweets and validation and test with 2,000 tweets, it's one. So interesting stats from this can be seen in table two, such as the large number of different characters and words, probably to the extended uh, use of emojis and abbreviations on Twitter. Our proposed contribution to Profner could be summarized into three steps. First one, pre-process. At this stage, we clean the corpus, especially for new URLs, as most of them are linked to Twitter supplies, and we don't consider them relevant. Also, I split the corpus into tokens and sentences using Spacey, an open source library for test processing. Finally, we transform annotation to BioAs schema. In the second step, we prepare the next features that will fit the deep learning architecture. Power of the speech. A large amount of information, such as gender, number, or even grammatical category, can be spread using the post model provided by Spacey. That's why a four-dimensional embedding representation of this feature is learned in train. Character and syllables. To help to deal with a word outside of the vocabulary and because have proven to be useful for, spe for a specific domain task and morphologically rich languages, as Spanish, a character and syllable level embedding representation is learned in train, resulting in a 30 and 75 dimensional vector respectively. Words. Two different 300 dimensional representations based on pre-trained word embeddings have been used, together with contextual embeddings generated with fine-tuned beta, the Spanish verb. And finally, cosine similarity. Cosine similarity between better representation of the word to be analyzed and better embedding of the entities found in the training and validation set are used as input, with its proven utility in previous studies. Finally, in step three, we developed the architecture shown in figure four, where character and syllable information is previously processed by a convolutional and global max pooling block to be concatenated with the rest of the features, to fit uh, an encoder-decoder architecture with attention mechanism. The final layer, conditional random field, provides the most probable sequence of levels. Some of the parameter use are shown in table three. For example, the optimizer use, Adam, or the, the number of epochs during training, four. It should be mentioned that the system has been developed in Python 3 using TensorPro and Keras. During the version stage, the validation set was used to fine tune our system, performing different experiments with range of parameter values shown in table 5. The optimal configuration obtained is shown in the same table. With this configuration, the results in the validation and test set uh, could be observed in table 4. Our system has a higher precision than recall, and the F-score obtained in both sets are close to 0, 82. The similarity between the results in both sets shows the robustness of the uh, system. Furthermore, we analyze the errors in the 8-bar system on the validation set. The main errors can be classified into three categories, incorrect boundaries, missing entity mention, and incorrectly distinguished entity mention. The incorrect boundary error account for only 10% of the total and occur when including or excluding information. 
For, exa for example, when the mention is ex-presidente or system identifies presidente. Missing entity error represents around 33%. Some missing entities by your system are shown in workout in figure six, for example, autonomous. Finally, incorrectly distinguished entity error constitute more than the 55%. Again, some false entities predicted by our system can be observed in workout in figure seven, for example, deportistas. It's easy to see the great similarity between the two work clouds. For example, both contain personal or empleados. This is because works like trabajador can be used as a noun representing an occupation or as an adjective without being an entity. Therefore, our system presents difficulties in classifying this type of occurrence. As conclusions, we really think that our proposed system, based on the combination of different word embeddings and causing similarity, generates competitive results. Although it does present problems with some ambiguous terminology. We believe that inclusion of domain specific information can help reduce this problem. This is why part of the future war is focused on incorporating information about other, other entities, such as companies or organizations. We would also like to explore data augmentation techniques to increase the data set and generate better results. Here in the presentation, thanks uh, everyone for watching.